Hi, I'm Mike from Michael's Motor Cars, located in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And I have a car that I'm truly excited to be offering right now. So please come on over and take a look at it. The car is a Julia Sprint GT. So I offer lots of different cars, and you'll see if you look at my videos, some cars I'm definitely partial to. I love the old Alphas. I have a couple of these cars, this series of cars, and I just think they're wonderful, wonderful fun cars. This car is titled as a 1967 car, and we have a Pennsylvania title as a 67. However, like a lot of the cars in the 60s, it was actually built, we believe, in 1965. We know that it was imported into Singapore in 1966. So August of 1966, this car appeared in Singapore. We believe this is the original color combination. This is arguably the earliest versions of what turned into the GTV cars. It's a slant nose car. It's got the iconic early grill series on it, the horizontal bars. Of course, it's a step nose right here. So this car uh, is an interesting car. And uh, please listen to the video and read the description on this car. We know that it came into Singapore. We know then it lived in Ann Arbor, Michigan in the late 80s, the mid to late 80s. And we also know it ended up in West Virginia. We purchased it from a fellow uh, who lived near Wyomissing, which is near Lancaster. It's about an hour away. And he had owned the car for the last 30 years, of which he drove it very little. He bought the car. He drove it. He was frustrated. He couldn't find a good mechanic. He put it in storage for 20 years, brought it out, drove it again, and still, sadly, couldn't find a mechanic who really knew how to take care of these cars. So it had been sitting for 30 years when we received the car. We went through the car. Luckily, it did not have gas in it, so the gas system was OK because it predated ethanol. I cleaned the carbs, set the points, basically got the car running. Uh, it's running and driving right now. Uh, if we come over and take a look at the motor on the car, the engine number on the car denotes that it is a 1966 motor. It is a 1600 motor. It is not, I don't believe, a Veloce motor because of the numbering. It came out of a Julia Sprint, but not a GT. Uh, it could have been an early uh, convertible car also. We do have, of course, the original VIN numbers stamped in the cowling here. We have the Alfa Romero identification plate. And we'll take high-resolution photos of all of this, including the engine number. The motor itself, it does have the original dual DCOE 40 Webers. One of the earlier owners of this car, and I think it was the guy in West Virginia, uh, was an Alpha mechanic. Uh, we had earlier records of this car where he had rebuilt this motor. So, and in driving this car, I believe it is set up to Veloci specs. Um, whoever buys this car, you will want to go over the carburetors and rejet them. They are jetted pretty rich on the lower end of the scale. You'll see in the driving video, it's a little blubbery at low speeds. But when it hits 3,500, 4,000 to 6 and beyond, the motor just sings. Typical alpha. Uh, it's a little more cammy than normal. So I believe it's quite possible that we have high lift cams in it. Uh, but I do not know anything about the internals of the motor. We did do a compression test. It's very strong. And we'll be posting that in all the gallery photos. So the car itself, these cars have become quite collectible, quite valuable, even the, especially the early cars. And the prices are quite high now. This is a car. It was restored and redone, I am guessing, in the 80s. And I want to be very upfront. There's a ton of putty in this car. It's filled with filler. You'll see in the chassis photos underneath, the floors have been repaired. The rockers have been repaired. But definitely not to concours not to high-end show standards. It was always done as a driver car. And the way you would have done one of these cars when they were not extremely valuable cars. On the flip side of it, it's been this way for over 30 years. It has held up extremely well. There are some cracks in the paint. I'll show you in the back. But it's an interesting car because you can buy this car at a much reduced price than what a restored one is. Leave it just the way it is. I would tune it a little sharper. Have fun with it. Drive it all over the place. And it's going to stay in this condition for a very long time. If you choose to restore this car, it needs, it needs all the sheet metal. So you would want to get 
from Wolf Steel or somebody, all the new rockers, you'd want to get new floors, all the usual alpha stuff. So I want to be very clear in representing this car as a car that was restored a long time ago. And yes, there's putty and there's filler everywhere. But it's very, very solid, extremely solid. So come on over and let me show you some of the interior. Having said all the disclaimers on the car, I love the car. It's really a fun car. The door cards are in pretty good shape. Has all its original hardware. You can see there's distortion down here. This would need to be addressed. There is a tear in the driver's seat right here. These are the original seats with the real cool backrest design. And they do flip forward as they're supposed to. The carpeting is actually quite nice. When the car was restored over 30 years ago, they did a whole carpet set and it's nice. The dash wood could stand to be redone. I believe it's original. It's delaminating over there on the glove box side. Dash cap is very nice. The instrumentation on the car is all working correctly. You'll see in the test drive, gas gauge, oil pressure, and it has great oil pressure. The tack, the speedometer, oil temperature, which eventually goes up if it's a warm day, and the water temperature. They're all working properly. It's a very old 70s AM FM cassette radio. May or may not work, I don't know. So the trim, all the important pieces are very nice. The door sill, Alfa Romeo pieces, all the stainless trim, all the little bits and pieces are actually quite nice on the car. The glass is nice the whole way around. Doors shut nicely. As you come along here, all of this is nice, but just by tapping on it, I know th there's a lot of stuff going on in here under the paint, but it's held together quite well. The bumpers are relatively nice. There are some marks on them a little bit. When I mentioned earlier, there's a crack right here, and we'll take photos of all of this. So there's a little bit of cracking going on here. There's probably filler there. You could, if this kind of stuff bothers you, it'd be relatively easy for a body shop to fix this stuff up to make it cosmetically look good again, but we all know what's under there. Coming along, the car originally was a Veloce, but as I mentioned, I do not believe it's a Veloce block at this point. We also have, coming around the other way, what comes with the car. We have the original air intake system, and these are pretty valuable now. So here's the air box, the hose, and this is what, of course, attaches to the Webers. So this is all coming with the car. We got the car with the BWA wheels. Uh, I actually think they look really cool on these cars. One of these rims is bent, so we pulled it off because it wobbled the car. But they're going with the car also. They're fun, fun wheels. We put the original steel wheels back on with a set of new hubcaps, and we put brand new tires on the car. We also have over here, which gives you some of the history on the car, original owner's manuals for the car, a lot of competition manuals. We have the Alfa Romeo performance options bulletins they were putting out, performance options catalogs, a lot of cool old stuff. Original factory description of technical. So these are just cool old manuals. I love all these. These come with the car. And then we have this, which was when the car was restored. Some photographs of it right after it was done. And those are the BWA wheels on the car. So all this comes with the car. Coming along this side of the car, again, overall presentation, the car looks good. Uh, we did have the car, we did a safety check on the car. You'll see there's a lot of work that's been done on the car, but it was probably all 20, 25 years ago. A lot of new steering joints, the tie rod ends were replaced. Uh, it's had a lot of work when the mechanic guy owned the car back in West Virginia. I think he worked on it quite a bit. You can see this side, same thing. This door card's in a little better condition than the right one. You can see a little bit of the, the wood veneer should be redone on the dash. But honestly, if you did the dash, the interior would be quite nice. On the turn signal headlight stalk, the low beams, I believe, are not working, and that is part of the switch on the steering column. We do have a replacement switch that will come with the car. And the replacement switch, we tested it, it does work. You have to remove the steering wheel to do that. 
And frankly, we don't have the steering wheel puller to pull the wheel off, but that's coming with the car. Coming along this side, these li the lines of these cars are just gorgeous. Again, the new tires, the original wheels, new hubcaps, go back to a stock look. It does have the cool, these are probably Hella or CBA lights, European lights. The two driving lights are on the car. These are not operational right now, they're just mounted on the bumper. The front grille is very nice, there's no marks. All of these are very straight, no dents or dings. So there's a lot of car to work with here. Um, again, I think you can buy this car, just drive it and have fun with it just the way it is for probably half the price of what the restored ones are going for. You could buy it and restore it, but frankly, if you want to restore a car, I'd find one in much, much worse condition than this car. This is a running and driving car. I do recommend having an expert go over the Weber carburetors and check their jetting. Uh, I think it could be improved upon quite a bit. I believe the car in its current form was set up to really rev high and be, have a lot of power at the high end of the rev range. So there it is. Please ask us any questions you may have. We'll be happy to answer them. We're selling all the other stuff we showed that all comes with the car, all in one package. And uh, so it's a car that was sold in 66 in Singapore. And then like a lot of these cars, titled in 67. So it's titled as a 67, but it really is, because the years are significant for Alpha, a 66 very early car. So thanks for taking a look at our car and uh, good luck.